All right, grease stained paper bag. You know what's coming. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So today I'm gonna to try to persuade you into a secret menu item from the folks over at Five Guys. Now this secret menu item is something I invented. I have thought about this for a while. It's been up in my brain noggin for a while. I finally am going to try it. I am calling it the garbage plate burger. So I basically take all three things, the only three things that Five Guys sells other than milkshakes, the French fries, the hot dog, and the cheeseburger, put it all together under a burger bun and I eat it. All right, you got up close and personal with this burger. Check it out. Yes, look at that. So they butterfly this hot dog so it's easy to kind of break it up into four pieces and throw it on top of the cheeseburger. I only added some minimal toppings to this. I added uh, some mayonnaise, some ketchup, lettuce, as well as some pickles. So we are not gonna waste any time. I'm going to try for the first time ever the secret menu item, garbage plate burger from Five Guys. Wish me luck. Whew, here we go. Mm. Lost a dog. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. All right, let me go in for one more bite before this hot dog escapes Alcatraz over here. Here we go. There is a lot going on in this burger. I'm gonna tell you though, right off the bat, I am tasting the hot dog a lot more than the burger, which is kind of throwing my mind for a loop because I know everyone out there who loves Five Guys, such as myself, you just can't wait to taste that grilled goodness of a Five Guys burger. But uh, let me go in for a third bite. We'll give a final breakdown on this. But uh, early returns, right off Jump Street, I'm enjoying this. French fried casualty. Mm. All right, final breakdown on this. Where I like this, it was really, really hard to eat. The hot dogs kept falling off, some of the french fries fell off, some pickles said, see you later. I kind of dived onto the plate. So it did kind of come apart in my hands, but the taste overall is good. You definitely get uh, the beefiness of that hot dog, like I mentioned. And all the toppings I got out here, even though limited, work well for my palate, what I like on a burger, so I was happy with that. The only disappointment is the burger does get a little lost when you're throwing the french fries and the hot dog on top of this. And that'll bring me to the french fries. Even though there was a good amount on there, those kind of got lost as well. So I don't know, all up in my brain, this seemed like a great idea. But now that it's come alive right here in front of me, eh, I don't know. I just don't know. So let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the garbage plate burger secret menu item from Five Guys a rating of. Eighty. Two. I'm gonna give this an 82. That's a little bit higher than eight out of 10 for all you laymen out there. Everyone keeping score, writing it down in that endorsement notebook. Thank you very much. You know who you are. But overall, let's take a look at it. Kind of just fell apart. Look at it. There's some hot dog remnants right there. So yeah, I mean, the taste was good, but it was really messy to eat and the French fries were a little bit non-existent. Just a little. Eh, what do you want from me? So there you go, another review in the books. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media that gets the word of the endorsement out to the masses. So in closing, let me know if you would try this burger. Have you ever done anything like this with a Five Guys burger, with any burger? I know they have those subs out there in Pittsburgh, I believe, uh, Pimenti Brothers. 
Amanti brothers. They're brothers. They just throw kind of everything on uh, their subs there. But this is on a burger. It was five guys and I did it. Whew. Also for price, the burger itself, the single burger, the little cheeseburger was $5.69 and the hot dog was $4.49 and then a little bit of the fries. You're talking, you know, a 10 to $12 burger here. So yeah, here's the trifecta. Burger, hot dog, and fry. If this thing was this messy with the limited toppings, I could imagine if you added like a couple more toppings on here. I usually go with the mushrooms or the onions on this, so glad I kept it simple, but yeah, definitely hard to eat.